Hey, how's it going everyone? Today I am going to be updating and adding on to the Icon Airframe uh, Pro series of helmet reviews. Now, the reason why there is an update is because I originally owned this uh, Airframe Pro uh, Pleasure Dome 2 helmet and uh, some problems did crop up with uh, my experience with my the original purchase that I had and uh, that I have to add on to, to, to the review that I originally did on, on this helmet. So basically today will be just me reviewing the graphics on the new replacement Airframe Pro 2 uh, but at the same time uh, I will be updating you on the 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 ba base uh, condition of the helmet itself for the original in-depth review please see the original video that i'm going to leave in the description below and of course the icon on the top right uh, you can you can read that review instead i'm just going to add on to that now the problem i have with the icon airframe pro that i bought was that i originally got this last February 2017 or February or it's the other way around anyway uh, it's not a long time it's only been a year and a half now most of us expect our helmets to last way longer than that uh, even on a daily basis however my Airframe Pro is not my daily helmet I use it only on special occasions where I want to feel a bit nicer feel a bit more fancy than usual uh, so I, it doesn't really get a lot of use it doesn't see sunshine a lot however a lot of problems have cropped up uh, with regards to the 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 fittings and and uh, fixtures of this helmet now the helmet itself nothing has changed now the reason why I have this replacement is because I complain to icon about the fact that this came off. This is the face pot gasket. It's supposed to go. Give me a second. Ugh. It's supposed to go around the face pot over here. And what it does is it provides your helmet with a seal against water when it rains. Without that face pot gasket, rain will get through your your visor into your face. And on top of that, the icons design meant that that gasket if it comes off, the top of your inner liner will not hold itself. It's held by uh, friction between the inside EPS foam as well as the rubber gasket. So without a rubber gasket, there is no, no uh, friction to hold this inner liner and the inner liner will fall off. And that's a huge problem as to why I, why I had to complain to Icon uh, about this helmet. On top of that, the seals, the gaskets at the base of the helmet are starting to come off as well. And while I do use a yellow tinted visor, uh, and this original clear visor was kept in storage, uh, after I took it out for a while, this clear visor, when I wiped the visor off with a damp cloth uh, to, cl to clear off the dust, the... I don't know what, what you call this. There is a waterproof, a fog resistant coating on it. It started flaking off. Now you see there uh, are pieces of this plasticky material uh, peeling off the inside of this uh, Icon Optics visor that comes stock on every Airframe Pro. And that is a huge problem for me. I can't believe that a $600 helmet has such problems. So originally, I complained to Icon about it, and um, let's put this aside for now. And uh, I was fed up. I paid a huge amount of money for this premium helmet, and this kind of problems popped up in less than two years on a helmet I would expect would at least last me four, five years before I really re need to replace it. Uh, with a new one. So luckily for me, uh, even though 
it's past warranty. Icon only has an, a warranty of one year on their helmets and thank God that because I paid for a premium product, I guess the money all went into you know, their customer service. When I complained Icon, showed them the condition of the helmet, they said, hey, I know, yes, it's over warranty and by right you shouldn't be getting a replacement, but in the end they did give me a replacement after I sent proof uh, to them that I had cut off uh, the straps of my original Pleasure Dome 2 helmet. And, in, and I replaced it with this. This is the F-Rame Pro Barong helmet. And uh, if you want to know what F-Rame Pros are like in general, just go back to the original review video that I talked about. But I just want to review this graphic. It's an amazingly beautiful graphic. And I think uh, it's one of the best graphics that you could find on the Airframe Pro other than the Pleasure Dome which I originally bought. Now, the reason why it's called a Barong, as you can see, I'm going to spin this around for a while, let you take a look at it. Yeah, nice red color, gold detailing. Reason why it's called a Barong is, as you know, uh, the Barong is a, a Balinese a mythological creature. Uh, I would say it's probably one of their heroic protective creatures, sort of, you know, like the good, the good uh, protect, protector of uh, Balinese culture. I won't go into detail about about the specific mythology because you can look it up on Wikipedia or other cultural sites that explain it a lot better than I will ever do. But I'll just uh, go through how that, that particular name and that particular uh, myth really meshes well with the graphics that's on this helmet. Now, the Barong is a mythological creature that is sort of like a half man, half lion and very stylized uh, in the Indonesian Balinese art style and you can see that all around this helmet with uh, you see this uh, very traditional uh, Indonesian patterns very Balinese uh, the, the style with you know uh, you can see the jaw and the teeth of a barong and then at the top over here you will see the face of the barong where his two eyes are and over here yeah the lips of a barong okay and then of course more teeth here and at the back on the, at the top you see a very nice sweeping pattern that really meshes well with the rest of that mythology that culture behind it now what I love the most about this particular graphic is the fact that they really use beautiful colors other than the really nice mesh of red, blue, yellow. There's also the golds. The golds over here on this helmet are special. I chose to, to film in this particular room because of the light. I'm not sure if you can see it very carefully. I will try and get it on camera uh, as closely as possible later on. But you can see the gold portions are have sort of a reflective surface to it, uh, sort of like a flaky, uh, flaking uh, metal flakes behind it. And when you put it under nice sunlight, there is a very beautiful reflection behind it, nice play of colors behind those gold bits. And I absolutely love this helmet. Now, obviously, I am not very sure if they did fix the issues with the, uh, well, of course, the visor, but I say that overall, on its own, it's still a good helmet. But do take note about what I did say earlier about Airframe Pros. Even though they did replace with a new helmet, this is definitely not the same as the Pleasure Dome 2 helmet that I got it before. It may be a newer batch, they may have improved on the the coating on the on the visor stock visor they may have improved on the bonding agent on 
you know, the base gasket and the face port gasket and all, all that, all that jizz. It may have been improved, but I do not know. It will, you won't know until it happens. So take that in mind because a lot of my cheaper helmets that I've worn for over two or three years, the gaskets have all stayed uh, relatively intact. And in fact, those are the cheap, those cheaper helmets are the ones that I use every single day. They see the sunlight even more and they don't face that problem, which is why I was so disappointed when this happened on my Pleasure Dome 2 Airframe Pro. Now, of course, I will now show you a bit more uh, pleasure shots of the Barong helmet. And I hope you like this video. If you have any questions about this helmet, do leave them in the comments below. And if you have any other questions in general, you can also leave them in the comments below. And I will see you next time. Peace out. Bye-bye.